Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, now I'll give you this example of the love the Sahaba had for the Messenger He's sitting with Rasulullah And the mushrikun come and they start cursing Abu Bakr al-Siddiq Cursing his wife, cursing his sister, cursing his mother All kinds of obscene language, he's sitting there quiet Sabr They said Abu Bakr is not going to move like this They start cursing Rasulullah and his family At this Abu Bakr al-Siddiq got up, enraged As soon as he got up, the Prophet walked away and he said, forget these people, why am I wasting time responding to them? Let me go ask why my beloved left. So he ran to Rasulullah and asked him, what's the matter? Why did you leave? He said, so long as you were sitting there, the angels were standing around us saying, Abu Bakr, al-haq. he's on the truth, he's on the truth, he's on the truth. As soon as you got up, they all flew away. And I don't sit where angels don't, are not in my company. What am I telling From this example, what am I telling you? Why did Abu Bakr Siddiq get up? From what he thought was the appropriate thing to do for Allah's deen. Right? But even that was curbed. You don't even decide what to do for Islam other than what the Prophet has instructed. This is the kind of sabr. This is the kind of perseverance and consistency we need to develop in ourselves. This discipline.